Well, the question about whether or not uh, this COVID-20 um, uh, coronavirus is natural or man-made, uh, I think that the fact that it is man-made is beyond question right now. I think the, the, the genetic sequences that have been done uh, throughout the world shows that um, it did not have a natural origin. You can't naturally combine HIV genes with uh, coronavirus genes. That just doesn't happen in nature. However, um, um, uh, nature is capable of, of things that we may not be able to conceive of. So for example, uh, one of the things that people are becoming aware of are the tremendous number of deaths that take place every year from ordinary influenza. In the United States, for example, every year, you will have between 30 and 40,000 deaths from regular influenza. Uh, and that's considered to be normal. And it could even range higher than that, 60, 70,000 per year, and some years lower than that. So we have good seasons and bad seasons. This is from influenza. Well, where did the influenza virus come from? I'm using this as an example for all viruses. Where did they come from? Well, if you uh, have, uh, as you do in China, a situation where you have uh, population congestion, congestion, you have human beings living in close proximity with animals. You have human beings living in close proximity to pigs and ducks and chickens. And so the history of influenza is that this is a virus that naturally recombined to produce something that can cause human disease. A bird virus infects a duck in a pond in China. That bird virus uh, gets picked up by a pig who drinks from that pond water. And then that virus recombines inside the body of the pig so that it begins to infect the pig. A bird virus, in other words, has now jumped into a pig. And then who lives right next to the pig or who ends up eating the pig or slaughtering the pig is a human being. And so now an original bird virus that somehow was able to infect the pig now makes a second leap, species leap, you could say, into a human being. And now a bird virus that became a swine virus is now a human virus, and we call it influenza. And it has been plaguing the world ever since people thought it was a good idea to live in close proximity to a food source like ducks and pigs. So it's possible, it's remotely possible, that this novel coronavirus is a natural virus, like they say, it came from a meat market in China. It came from bats. It came from this. It came from that. Well, that sounds like the green monkey story uh, related to HIV. And then it turns out green monkeys had very little to do with HIV. Uh, human biomolecular engineers had everything to do uh, with, the, with the development of HIV as a biological weapon. And I think the, the, that the evidence is very strong right now. And I think the proof positive will come in the future. This was a biologically engineered weapon, probably done by Dr. Lieber and his team from Harvard University in conjunction with Johns Hopkins University and with Wuhan University in China and other government agencies in China. They developed this. They will have to explain to the world why they thought this was such a good idea to do.